Hello and thank you for watching Fox 43 News at 10 o'clock. I'm John Becker. Danishka was very charismatic. She was very sentimental and very funny. New tonight, the grief of losing a 22-year-old Knoxville woman. She was killed, authorities say, a few days ago. Police say she was found dead not long after reporting herself a victim of a sexual assault. For the first time tonight, we are hearing from people closest to her. And reporter Maria Guzman shares their call for justice. Danishka Mejia is remembered by loved ones as a vibrant 22-year-old woman, known for her charisma, happiness, and the smile that lit up every room she entered. She enjoyed her life. She was fun and crazy in the best way possible. Sebastián Mejías knows that from first-hand experience. The two grew up together in Costa Rica. They became cousins, not by blood, but by their family's strong bonds. Denisha came to make us happy. She was like a sister, the sister I never had, my bloodline sister I never had. Sebastián and Danishka are only three years apart. She's been in his life as long as he can remember. She always made our day. She made them better. Born in Costa Rica, Danishka moved with her family to Tennessee at a young age. It was here when she made her earliest childhood memory. She attended Carter High School, where she dominated the volleyball court and sported the number 20. Her heart was between two countries, the U.S. and her motherland. She moved to Costa Rica at 16 years old. That's where she finished high school and lived with Sebastián and his family. Okay, so yeah. She missed her friends from Tennessee a lot. It was Friday, April 5th, when loved ones of Danishka received a call that would forever change their lives. I received a message from my mom the morning of to call her when I woke up. I immediately had a bad feeling. A day before Danishka's death, Sebastián says he saw her one last time in his sleep. The night before I dreamt about Danishka, my friends say to take it as her passing by to say goodbye one last time. For her loved ones, the journey towards justice is just the beginning. What we're asking for is justice for Danny. Maria joining us now. We know there are more plans to honor the life of that young woman, Maria. Yes, John, her loved one tells me because of the public's donation and support, Danishka's family will travel to Costa Rica with her remains there. They will honor her life. Let's talk about the suspects. Remind us what is next for them in this case. Yes, John, the three male suspects are doing court this Friday. The judge will read the charges against the suspect. The suspect then will plead to the charges and the judge will set their bail. John. Maria Guzman on the update. Thank you, Maria.